Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction. Late live reaction to Unordinary, Chapter 291. Alright, let's get into it. Conversion tech is something that the authorities developed. Oh yes, the, the little conversation into bed. It lets you change up your ore so that you can use additional abilities. Jane was about to be revealed. Like, does John remember Jane when she left their lives in some way or another? Well, that's kind of creepy. Sounds exactly what I can do. How the hell can they come up with something like that? They're sourcing it from a subject. Oh, I only got a quick glance. Someone called Jane. I think they're keeping her in one of their facilities. And John's like, dun dun dun. <clears throat> Did you say, Jane? Now the story starts proper. Why? Sounds familiar to you? Sir, did you ha or did they have a picture of her? Were they able to, were you able to see what she looks like? Long white hair, brown eyes. He's like, "Ah, oh, no. No way. What is it? My mom's name is Jane." He's like, "Dun dun dun." I don't remember much about her. She left us when I was really young. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> that happened. But I've seen photos of her. And there's little John. Oh, th that looks like when she was a student, and here's when she was with his dad. She also had white hair and browned eyes. Did I say browned? Brown. <laughs> Do you know her reason for leaving? And he's just kind of like, hmm, we don't talk about that at the dinner table. We're in a bed, John. Hmm, just like politics. Mm hmm. <clears throat> No. My dad hardly ever mentioned her. It's a sore spot for him. I didn't even have an idea of what her ability was. Until I discovered how to use mine. She's obviously really strong. And my dad's powerless. So I always thought she left us because we weren't good enough for her. That seems very weird because she seemed to be happy. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. And in this society, if you're not happy with a powerless person, and it's not in a domineering way, I would assume that you wouldn't have a child with them. <laughs> you really saw her in that facility, then I have no idea what's going on. But let's be honest, what are the chances it's actually her? I don't know. It's probably just a coincidence. No, nothing's just a coincidence. When it's literally the same power... People tend to not have the same exact powers in this series. Okay. We we have William here. And he's at an address. Plate whose house is this? Apologies. The mister doesn't the mister? <laughs> the mister doesn't talk uh, doesn't wish to see anyone at the moment. I don't know why I made her into like a little British nanny I'll be quick please it's urgent hmm sigh very well all right I'll go get him who's the mister why the hell are you calling him the mister she's this place is nice yeah it's not too bad it's maybe a little too modern for my liking but you know but how the hell does one person use all this space <laughs> boom 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 <clears throat> Also, there's a frickin', what do you call it? A, not a colander. What is it called? A craft that, or something like that. Like for purifying water on the frickin' dining, not dining room table. That would actually make more sense. On the coffee table in the living room. You. Oh, it's him. What do you want? I think it's his former brother-in-law. Hello, Cameron. I, I need your help. T didn't I tell you I didn't want to see you? Or I didn't want to see anyone? Uh, you've been so preoccupied with your work, and you haven't left the house in a while. She looks so fucking tired. She's like, I'm tired of your shit. You wash your damn underwear. <laughs> you don't pay me enough for it. I thought you could use some company. 
No, from him. Show him out. Wait! Please hear me out. I have news on Jane. On, on, on. Using my... Yep, that, that truly is John's uncle there. Using my sister to gain sympathy. Jane cut ties with me decades ago. What she has done is none of my business. Cameron, haven't you ever wondered where she's been all these years? Didn't I just tell you she cut me out? <laughs> well, I hired people to look for her, and one of them got back to me. She was found in a heavy, heavily guarded lab. Who the fuck did you hire that would have revealed that? Oh, God, we're talking about some high-level espionage shit. I heard someone from the deep web. They said they were ex-military. I believe them. Turns out all they do is there's some YouTuber that frickin' turns out he, like, knits doilies on the weekends. But somehow he found Jane. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with her, but she doesn't look well. I think she's trapped. Bomb Jane trapped in a lab? You can't be serious. Hmm... Obviously, you got scammed. Seems you've been writing your little story or your silly stories for so long, and you've lost touch with reality. I imagine he has evidence. Face it, you and Jane aren't from the same world. It was only a matter of time before she left you. Even if she got sick of me, she wouldn't leave our son behind like that. This is true. Son? Oh, he didn't even know. Damn. So when he appeared earlier in the series, that's why he didn't recognize John. Because I was like, wait, this kind of looks like it could be... Because I want to say I even made the connection that that was possibly his uncle. Hmm. Jane had a child with this weakling? How disgraceful. Also, if the whole thing of, like, if you're powerless and your parent that has power is giving you that's where you're getting your power genetics from solely does that mean that the child will be weaker than the parent or potentially can become stronger than the parent or is equal as the parent i don't fully understand the genetics of this world in certain regards <clears throat> here i have photos of her in the facility you have to believe me i knew he had evidence i don't care get him out of my sight but out just one look, Cameron. She actually, she's like, Oh, I'm coming down, dear. I'm going to kick your ass out of the, of the mister's house. <clears throat> it's time for you to go. Hey, hey, wait. And he just walks along the really long ass balcony he's got in this house. Hurry up and leave before he decides to take care of you himself. Believe me. Why do you think I've got these bags under my eyes? He just keeps fucking with my brains. With the power he steals from the next door neighbor. Uh, let's see here. Shit. And he, and so he's just dumping them on the floor? Or is that a table? I can't... I think it is a table. Then I'm leaving these here. Out the door he goes. He left you some papers. Would you like to see? No, get rid of them. She's not going to do that. This woman knows some shit. She's seen some shit. And now we got William doing a, the whole, like, John thing of, like, I'm angry, Cameron, that jackass. He never listens to what I have to say. But it's because you're of the lowest status in society. He doesn't have to care based on how society works in this world. This was hopeless from the start. <clears throat> When Simon first handed me those pictures, those photos, Hello, Simon the detective. You don't look like ex-military that could sneak into a facility. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes either. I just don't understand how. How did Jane end up in there? Wait a minute, we've seen this. I think we saw the actual thing of this because this isn't her in that like interrogation room. So he must have disguised himself as a scientist or something. They would have needed an army just to catch her. How fucking powerful was she? And then to be able to keep her there for years without her escaping. 
She knows. She sees that camera. <laughs> hmm. Jane, what happened? Aw, oh, happy family, little baby Johnny. Mother looks kind of discontent. Oh, he has such a round little head. <laughs> hmm. She's uh, kind of nervous. Jane, is everything okay? You seem pretty spacey these days. Do I? You know, she looks very much like an older Serafina, if not for the hair color. Hmm. Hey, Will, this past week, have you noticed any suspicious people following you around? Huh? I haven't really been paying attention. What makes you ask that? Wah! <laughs> Wah! It pulls on there. Wah! <laughs> Ouch. Okay, John. He's like, oh. <laughs> Ready to go faster? Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, push that dirty diaper into your neck. <laughs> hmm. She's not happy. Could it be they're threatening her? <sighs> what should I do now? I have no other leads. It's not like I can report this shit to the authorities. Yeah, the authorities are kind of the one doing it. Let's see here. Pulls out his phone. Simon, he be calling. Simon's an older looking dude than I realized. Hmm. Hey there, Simon. What? Oh, shit. They killed Simon and threw his ass in a fucking dumpster. Hello, you've reached Simon. I can't take your call right now. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Beep. Yeah, they fucking threw his ass in the dumpster. Hmm. Some hobo will find him and be like, <laughs> New coat. Blood and all. Love that color. Yeah, look at this snazzy hat. Mm-hmm. There's a dead guy in it, but fuck it, I've worn worse. Um... Weird how they just dispose of the body in such a uncouth and kind of obvious manner, to be honest, but okay. Um, <coughs> I might name this chapter like Hobo's New Coat <laughs> or something. I don't know. Ah, stupid me. Anyway, um... Okay, we get a little bit of a flashback. We formally meet Cameron, I believe, for the first time now. Confirmed to be John's uncle, though he doesn't even know he was an uncle. So, really, she did cut ties, apparently. Um, I, I, I assume he's probably working for the authorities or something, and if what William was alluding to, like it would take an army to have stopped Jane, I assume Cameron is of equal, if not probably higher level. But that's yet to be seen, obviously. But they, or at least he, has very high status, given his very luxurious home. <clears throat> and the fact that he has a housekeeper. I mean, not many of the, the people we see in this world tend to have the help. <laughs> Who then I turned into like a little British nanny. But, you know, things happen. Um, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me. But, uh, yeah, that, that was a chapter. Um, so he had hired a private detective. Said detective is now dead, but he has evidence that she is being held in a facility. Now, exactly what... I guess that was probably when they were first coming up with the technology because that would have been like freaking 15 years ago. So they were probably targeting her and her brother, but maybe not. I mean, considering that they cut ties and everything, who's to say he was or wasn't, but <clears throat> she was targeted. Probably because she wasn't paired up with a person that had a power as well. So she was an easier target. And plus they could just extort her. You know, it's like, hey, a lovely child you got there. Wouldn't want them to get broken. 
you know, kind of deals. So, yeah. Cameron, on the other hand, all he has is a maid that seems to be kind of done with life. But, um, but I could see him kind of, like, using her as a freaking, you know, human shield, as far as I know, while he's, you know, copying abilities and wrecking house. He doesn't seem to have any family, so they can't use those as leverage against him. So... So, like I said, I'm assuming this was probably early in their development of the technology to copy abilities and stuff, so they needed a test subject to fully, like, process this technology to its highest potential and grind out a machine. It just would take a while, apparently, because it's still slightly buggy 15 years later, so... Hmm... So it must have been really early development. I'm wondering if they were just working on a theory and they just happened to find a person that had a perfect ability that theoretically would make this whole idea work. <clears throat> but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I assume she was probably she probably left so that her family would not be harmed and then she tried to fight them off or they knew where William and baby John lived and they're probably using that as leverage that's why she looks so dead inside even when she was looking presumably at Simon when he took that picture it was like uh, hello person <laughs> um, so yeah I'm thinking leverage was used against her it was like sure she could fight but her family would always be in danger so she didn't want that to happen. So I'm thinking that's what ultimately led to her, you know, imprisonment and her unlawful, you know, experimentation. <clears throat> but anyway, interesting backstory. Um, but now we know why John's never really mentioned a mother because not really one in his life. So. <coughs> mm. But anyway, uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content, which also includes My Hero Academia coming up after this, so stay tuned. <coughs> the coughs keep coming. But anyway, uh, I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the one I'm on podcast on Groomer and Bruce channels. Go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, Keeshlings. The butler did it, sir. Shut up. You have no evidence that man was dumped in that dumpster. But also, Hobo's gonna get a new coat.